What is up, Obscure Mike people? Bark coming back at you with another one from Pro AR, the V7 XLR USB professional recording microphone. I've got a lot to say about this. Let's go ahead and unbox it so I can say what I need to say. Let's take a look at what comes in the box with the Pro microphone here. We got a block of foam, block of foam, block of foam, flock of flock of flame. Or something like that. All right, we'll get to the mic in a second. But we got a USB, A to C. What else is in here? Oh, I see. I see. We've got one of those cool A and C's to C. So it's like a double-headed doty. What? I didn't say that. Uh, XLR cable. Always a nice touch. Ah, we got this little, little base stand here. And a very strange little double-headed 5.8s and adapter mount here uh, for the base stand. Okay, cool, great, wonderful. Now for the part we actually care about here. We've got the V7 XLR USB microphone. we got a nice yoke mount here. It says Pro AR on the side. Take the head basket off and we got what reveals to be a schmeckle or a windscreen as we call it more likely. Not really a schmeckle but a windscreen on this side you've got an indicator light here volume echo and a mute switch and all the way around looking you know pretty nice build quality is good we got a 5 8 threading there on the yoke mount kind of a small schmeckle my windscreen could use some time to, to fluff up here uh, on the back side here we've got an xlr port a headphone jack and a USB-C. And just for size comparison here, I'm going to hold that in one hand. Actually, let's grab the, uh, there you go. There's a little size comparison. So this is like, you know, you got the ice cream sandwich and the mini ice cream sandwich. That's kind of where these fit, I guess you could say. There you go. The big, the little. It really is like a mini SM7B. Okay, so honest to God, it's pretty cool that it's like a mini SM7B, sort of. Um, but that that is kind of where it ends here. We've got major issues going on. This microphone, and I have more than one because I found one for next to nothing. And I tested both of them. And both of these microphones are almost impossible, and I popped it, to drive literally impossible to drive so let me tell you what's going on i've got the preamps on my yamaha ag06 basically maxed out i'm still only hitting negative 18 db and if i get a little bit loud negative 15 xlr mode on this microphone there is an issue and it's on both of the mics and i got a little USB C in there for you i can drive the sm7b a lot easier than I can drive this. Let me demonstrate. This is the SM7B, and this is what it sounds like when I'm not driving the heck out of it, which I'm not. I had to turn the gain and stuff down. Had to turn it down so it wouldn't be clippy or oversaturated or just terrible sounding. I have to set the gain higher on this. How does that make sense? How 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 is that? And this does not sound good. What? What? Okay, and now I plugged it back in, and I've used multiple XLR cables too, but I just plugged it back in, and I'm getting a little better signal after unplugging and plugging back in. What the hell is going on? Let's forget about this thing in XLR mode. Let's go to USB mode. Okay, now we've got it in USB mode, and getting the right levels out of it is totally doable, totally easy. Um, I still don't think it sounds great. Um, I do want to say Pro AR sent this over to me, and I appreciate it. But at the same time, this is bad. This is real bad. Their condenser mics are chef's kiss. <sighs> USB mode, it does work. It does sound tinny in the headphones. Uh, from sound samples, it doesn't sound much better. Let's do the tests. Okay. Okay. All right. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pineapple pizza. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pineapple pizza. When you get right on top of the V7 from Pro AR, this is what it sounds like when you're right on top of the V7. 
This is what that sounds like. Now let's take the microphone and go 90 degrees off axis rejection. Now we're going to go 180 degrees off axis, 90 degrees again, and back around town to the front of the microphone. I really did want to spend some time on this review, have a good time with it, uh, you know, hopefully be able to recommend it if it was on sale. Alas, I cannot. Let's hit the mute button here. Mute, mute, mute. Mute button works pretty well. Uh, we have an echo feature here that if I start turning that up, we're going to have a, an echo. And there's, you know, you can turn it way up or way down and off. Again, Pro AR, I appreciate you sending it over. It's kind of cool in its form factor as like a mini SM7B, like tiny little thing. But it's not good. It's just not good. It needs to be scrapped, started over. Something's wrong with both models. XLR mode, unusable. Uh, USB mode, barely usable. I apologize for being so harsh. I, you know, I, I need a win here. I need a good mic. I haven't done a good mic in a minute. So BB SAR time. This is a two. It's bordering on awful. I hate to call it garbage because it does work in USB mode and it does work okay in USB mode. Um, so it's just bordering on awful. It's, it's very frustrating because you got companies like feel world that release a pretty decent microphone and you know, there's all kinds out there. Like it's, why is this so bad? Why is it so hard to drive? It's like a freaking Fiat, which is probably not hard to drive. It's a limousine. No, that's too fancy. It's a three wheeler. This is a three wheel ATV microphone. It's about as easy to drive as a three-wheeler, which people have flipped and died over. This mic is currently killing me and not softly. Pro R, Pro, Pro R, Pro R. <laughs> Pro AR, thanks for sending it over. I hate to tell you, it just didn't work out. It's just not, just please discontinue it, sell off the stock, try again. I'll test that one out. Again, the condensers from Pro AR, freaking great really great for the price dynamic whole nother story which dynamics are easier to build and make and i know you got usb stuff in there but still hmm obscure mics sorry about the disappointment that is this video but uh at least you now know that you when you see this cool little microphone stay away obscure mics hopefully the next one will be better peace out